So I love these documentaries so much because these are the future of America. All of these people, I'm talking about Boy State and Girl State, and I'm talking with the directors, producers, Amanda McBain and Jesse Moss. So if you could tell us, what's Girl State about? Girl State is a sibling film to Boy State. It's about uh, programs for 17-year-olds in every state in our country where kids come together and build a democracy from the ground up. It's like a big participatory uh, experiment in democracy. And uh, we filmed Girl State in the state of Missouri. And how did you how did you decide you wanted to do this one in Missouri versus Boy State that was in Texas? Well, the country's big. We'd done Texas and we thought, okay, where where can we go next that um, that has a, a good program? Every state has a program and they're all good programs, but some are bigger than others. We wanted a big program and Missouri has a very big program and democracy gets messier the bigger the group is that's trying to work together. So um, Missouri is interesting because it doesn't come with sort of the reputational baggage that Texas does. In some ways, a lot of people um, don't even know what Missouri is it red is it blue I liked that there isn't a lot of baggage there I also like that it um, has such a diversity of rural and urban environments they have a very formidable um, uh, right-wing senator they have a very formidable left-wing um, congressional um, congresswoman so like to me it represents a lot of everything and uh, that's why we went there and if you want to call them your cast, that kind of seems like what you got with the girls that were the center of this documentary of Girl State. What what were your thoughts on, okay, obviously these are the perfect girls. I just spoke with them. So these love these I, girls and they all gave different perspectives. Um, these girls are amazing. They're, of course, they're real people, but they are movie stars and um, they're exceptional. They're bright. They're ambitious. They're politically knowledgeable. They're also open and vulnerable to letting a documentary crew follow them around, a really intense experience. And I mean, for that, we're really grateful. We we talked to hundreds of girls who were gonna go to the program and we just, we, we felt lucky that we met these this group. Um, and they, they, they're diverse. They come from all across the state. They have diverse politics, diverse backgrounds. Um, and um, we get to watch them go through this intense experience. It's really a coming of age story. And I think they, they show us sort of a possible future for America that actually looks, I'd say, brighter than we might feel right now. And I think we're all asking ourselves, like, what's the future of American democracy? Like, are we irreparably broken or is there hope here? And I think these young women give us hope, um, despite their political differences. You're so right about that. So what, obviously, Boy State was brought with so much critical acclaim, all these awards. What what did you take from that experience that maybe you didn't want to include or that you did also know you have to include this part in Girl State? Um, I We always knew we were going to make a Girl State film. Um, I think even before Boy State, was resonating for people. We always had unfinished business um, because this program is divided by gender and has been for 80 years. It's a little old fashioned that way. Um, we've done one half of it. How could we not do the other half? I think the trepidation would be, well, gosh, we feel very satisfied with what we created with Boy State. What What's new to explore other than that it's girls doing it? I didn't want to make the facsimile, facsimile film just starring girls. That, isn't of interest but there is the questions with the girl state that i think we don't get into with boy state namely they build a supreme court they build a third branch of government but also female representation in the adult state is an issue for girls in a way that it's not um it doesn't come up at boy state obviously um, men run our world so <laughs> there is that piece of it that i didn't know to what degree that was going to come up or how they were going to talk about it and the way it unfolded in in this particular session of Missouri Girl State, because they were doing a, in, doing it in parallel with Missouri Boy State that year, it, it became a really interesting um, sort of microcosm for the macrocosm that exists of of how how the, the opportunities available to men and women um, and how they vary. Yeah, people are just going to eat this up. They're going to love it just as much, if not more, than Boy State. I can't wait for people to see Girl State on April 5th on Apple TV+. Plus. Thank you both, Amanda and Jesse. So Girl State, it's such an interesting concept. I 
Boys State first came out, now Girls State. This one is miles better than the first, if I must say so myself. So I'm going to direct this one to Emily. Tell us what Girls State is about. I think Girls State's an empowering program for young women to really get uh, their first, maybe first taste at politics. And also, it's about conversation and depolarizing politics um, and just getting involved in politics because, as the directors always say, it's not a spectator sport. You're right. Very much so. And Nisha, you come into play. You give this very unique perspective. I love seeing the diversity in the cast and especially in a documentary sense. What was it like being part of this for you? It was kind of surreal. In the moment, I tried to kind of ignore the cameras, go about my girl state experience. But looking back on it, just being able to see what I did at 16 years old, watching that resonate with people, that's kind of made a world of difference. Um, the day that the film premiered, we went to this event and I had a woman come up to me and thank me for um, thank me for important South Asian representation and tell me that she would show this to her daughters. And I cried. I told everyone I know. I cried more. I'm crying now. <laughs> it, it's been incredible. That's so positive, so encouraging to hear for everyone all over the world. I'll direct this next one to Cece. Uh, you have this just bad girl energy. I just love to see it. You don't take no for an answer. What? <laughs> how do? You, how, where did you get that from? I would say probably um, my mom. I also grew up with two older sisters, so I think I've just always been in you know a loud environment where I've been told like it, Emily talks about it a lot. You know, women just should be told they can do whatever they want, and that's kind of how I grew up, I guess. And like, also just my mom always spoke to everyone about anything, whatever. Like I remember she was at the grocery store once and she was just talking to like this guy and he was, she was like, you must be really sad right now. Like, isn't COVID really tough on you? And I was just like, girl, you can't, you can't say that to a random grocery store person. But I think it was just kind of like, just talk to people, be nice to people and speak your opinion. Absolutely. And Faith, with this uh, coming out, within the next few weeks, what do you want people to take away most from Girl State? Oh gosh, people need to understand that young people in politics is not something to frown upon. I think people, um, younger people in politics get a bad rap because it's like, oh, you, you only believe what your parents believe. You're not actually researching anything or it, you're just, you're repeating what you see online on your phone. And I think the film makes it so evident that that's not true and that people can independently think about their own politics. They can have great discussion about it and they can actually make an impact locally. Very well said. I can't wait to see what the future holds for all four of you. I will love to say, oh, I knew them when. Make sure you watch Girls Day April 5th on Apple TV+. Plus. Thank you all. There's something in the air, and it's politics. Girl State is like high school teenage girls who care about government. Are you friends? Let's no, no, we'll become friends. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> In 2040, I intend to run for president. So I think Girl State, I'm gonna run for governor. Attorney General. Supreme Court Justice. Okay. We're never gonna get the opportunity to talk to people from different parts of Missouri the way that we are right now. I am a very social person. I will talk to a wall. Often when women start talking politics, we get shut down. But I am not one to be left on the desk. We all have, in our own different ways, grown up in a world where we've never seen a female president. But how do we change that? We step up. This is where it all begins. We all work very hard on the image of ourselves that we want to show to the world. It's exhausting. Okay. I know it's a lot of pressure. I can see it. I'm not saying person, so breathe. Good luck. I'll talk to you soon. We are all Americans and we all want the best for this country. Standing in front of this crowd of future leaders, I can say that God can save the world. Women will save America!